Hi students, welcome to the virtual lab of 2 physics. Today we will do the experiment of Ohm's law. For doing this experiment, first you must draw the circuit diagram. How do you draw this circuit diagram? Okay, this is the circuit diagram. You have to start giving connection from the positive of the battery, positive of the battery to positive of the ammeter, from negative of the ammeter to positive of the voltmeter, and from negative of the voltmeter to the rheostat. And in between the two terminals of the voltmeter plus and minus of the voltmeter, we can connect this unknown resistor. Here we will be using a nichrome resistor, nichrome wire as the unknown resistor that should be connected parallel to voltmeter. Then from rheostat to the key, plug key and from plug key to the negative of the power supply battery. Okay, I will do the experiment. Here instead of battery we are using this power supply source, it is a eliminator. It converts AC into DC and also we can adjust the voltage to 2 volt, 4 volt, 5 volt, etc. Uh, this red terminal is the positive, this red terminal is the positive and this black is the negative of the power supply. So we we'll start from the positive of the power supply and giving to the positive of the ammeter. Okay, this is the ammeter. From negative of the ammeter, we will give to the positive of the voltmeter and from negative of the voltmeter to the rheostat between these two terminals, plus and minus of this voltmeter, this is the nichrome, nichrome wire that will connect in between these two, parallel to the voltmeter. Okay. So, nichrome is connected, unknown resistor. We are going to find out the resistance of this nichrome that is connected parallel to the voltmeter. Now, from the other terminal of the rheostat, rheostat has two terminals, one is here, there is no plus and minus for this one, and one at the top and another at the bottom. So the current entering through this one after passing through the bridge, passing through this contact, current will pass through a number of turns so the resistance will be included in the circuit and it will leave through this one that will be given to the plug key and from the plug key to the negative terminal of the power supply. The circuit connection is over. Now we have to insert the plug key. You can see the reading in the voltmeter and ammeter. See here the ammeter reading is 0 0.141 and 0 0.06 is the voltmeter reading. We can adjust that value by moving this bridge. Suppose I am adjusting the voltmeter reading to 0 0.005, that time the current is uh, 0 0.125 ampere. This voltmeter reading is in volts. 0 0.005 volt, you can take as 5 millivolt, the time the current is 0 0.125 milliampere. Okay, no down like that. Point five. The next reading, we can change the voltmeter reading by moving this breads of the rheostat. Now I am making it 0 0.01, 0 0.01 uh, volt, that is if you multiply by 1000 volt. 10 millivolt. That is, if you multiply by this 1000, you will get 10 millivolt and 238 milliampere. No down. Okay, no trap. The next trial again we will change the voltmeter reading by moving this bridge 0 0.015. 0 0.015 volt means it is 15 millivolt. No down. 15 millivolt. The time current is. 370 milliampere. 370 milliampere. Now we will take one more reading. Again, I am adjusting the rheostat and making it now it is 20 millivolt. 20 millivolt. That time the current is 499 milliampere. Now we will do the calculations see how to draw the table and do the calculations. Now see this is the observation table. In the first reading voltmeter we got 0 0.005 volt and corresponding current was 0 0.125 ampere and the ratio R equal to V by I, V divided by I is 0 0.04 ohm. The second 0 0.01 is the voltmeter reading and 0 0.238 ampere is the current reading. And again, R is equal to V by I, we got the same value. In the third step, 
we got the voltmeter reading 0.015 volt and corresponding ammeter reading 0.37 ampere and again the reading and again the ratio V by I R is equal to V by I that is 0.04 ohm 0.04 ohm so this is the resistance of the given wire and this way we can find out the resistance of a given wire by using ohms law now we will draw the graph uh, these are the observation that we obtained in the experiment for 5 millivolt we got 125 milliampere current and 10 millivolt 238 milliampere current and 15 millivolt 370 milliampere current and when we divide these values we got the resistance 0 0.04 ohm that is r equal to v by i now we can plot a graph here in this home slow graph we can take the voltmeter reading on the y axis and the current reading on the x axis and the points that we obtain here for 5 millivolt we got 125 milliampere that is 5 millivolt we got 125 milliampere since this is the point 38 and for, for 10 millivolt we got 238 milliampere that is for 10 we got 238 here this is the point and for 15 millivolt we got 370 milliampere so 370 and 15 volt this is the point now we can join all these points by a straight line so the graph will be like this this is the ohm's law graph okay from this ohm's law graph you can calculate the resistance of the given wire by taking any two points suppose we are taking uh, suppose we'll take these two points the point here this one and this point the last point the slope of this graph will be equal to resistance of the wire and you know the slope of a graph is given by the equation slope is equal to y2 minus y1 means the change in y coordinate y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 means change in x coordinate we will take this as the first point for this point x coordinate is 125 125 and the y coordinate is 5 y coordinate is 5 and for this second point x coordinate is 370 370 and the y coordinate is 15 y coordinate is 15 now the slope of the graph is given by slope is equal to we have y2 minus y1 y2 here is 15 and y1 is 5 is 15 minus 5 15 minus 5 that divided by x2 minus x1 here x2 we have uh, 370 and x1 is 125 so 370 minus 125 this is again equal to 0 0.04 ohm 0 0.04 that is the resistance of the wire means slope of the graph is equal to slope of the graph is equal to resistance that is resistance of the wire so from this graph we proved that the slope of the Ohm's law graph is equal to resistance of the wire okay thank you for watching this video